In the Northeast, it was a very windy day. Yesterday, we had winds gusting up to 50, even 60 plus miles per hour. The good news is that the winds will die down today and it won't be quite as windy. We have some more rain and snow on the way, though, as we take you into the next few days. And that April cold will linger yet through the next several days. So all of these yellow dots indicate some of the wind gusts that we had yesterday. Again, reporting uh, upwards of 50 to 60 plus in many spots out there. Here's a look at some of the major uh, hubs. Again, some 40 plus mile per hour winds in Boston, New York, Philadelphia at 53, DC 46, and then we had a 63 mile per hour wind gust in Buffalo. Now the winds are still gonna be breezy out there this afternoon, but not quite as strong. Some 20 to 30 plus mile per hour winds. And then once you head to Boston and Caribou, that's where the winds will be a little bit stronger this afternoon, maybe some 30 to 40 plus. Uh, yesterday, Caribou picked up 5.2 inches of snow, and we are going to see a little bit more snow coming up. Today, overall, kind of quiet. You can see things are staying generally sunny, but once we head into the overnight hours and into Friday, we have this storm system kind of building in on the southern flank of this trough of low pressure. So this will help to bring in some snow, mainly to the northern portions of the region, and then some rain and possibly a little bit of thunder the farther south you get. But once we head into Saturday, looks like maybe a heavier blob of snow could be developing from West Virginia up to New York City. We'll have to keep you up to date on that, but that'll take us into Saturday. Meanwhile, temperatures remain quite chilly, especially to the far north.